Nowadays, problems get bigger, but so do their solutions. Industries are built around moving several thousand pounds of Earth in just a day, from vehicles carrying spaceships to the largest water wheels. Here are 20 of the most powerful heavy machines of the world. Number 20. Strato Launch Rock A wonderful aircraft that advances both aviation and space research is the Strato Launch Rock. This vehicle was made by Scaled Composites for Strato Launch Systems and is a remarkable feat of engineering. What was it made for? To transport air launch to orbit rockets. The rock's large size is one of its most noticeable characteristics. It was built from two retired Boeing 747s, and it has a staggering wingspan of 385 feet, which is almost twice as long as a typical 747. For comparison, that is longer than a typical football field. This massive wingspan not only breaks records, but also puts smaller passenger airplanes to shame. Supporting such a big construct necessitates extraordinary strength. With a weight of 580 tons, the rock has an astonishing 28 wheels to adequately distribute the load. That's about four times as heavy as the Statue of Liberty. The Stratolaunch is propelled by six strong jet engines to carry this massive weight. This design option enables for efficient propulsion while also ensuring that the airplane can bear its massive payload. A skilled pilot duo consisting of a pilot and a co-pilot positioned in the right fuselage is required to operate the rock. Despite its enormous size and complexity, the aircraft can be handled by this duo alone. Its major role is to transport a space shuttle to a height of approximately 243,000 F500 feet on its bottom. At this moment, the shuttle can launch directly from the rock, breaking away from traditional ground-based launch methods. This one-of-a-kind launch method has various advantages. First, unlike the shuttles, the strato launch can take off in more severe weather situations, allowing for greater mission flexibility. Furthermore, by taking a ride on the rock, the shuttles can carry less volatile fuel, improving safety and decreasing logistical issues. The rock can accommodate multiple configurations thanks to its mind-boggling payload capacity of 550,000 pounds. That's the same as 40 elephants. It can transport many payloads of great volume and mass at the same time, making it a versatile platform for space exploration and research endeavors. The word rock honors a fabled bird of prey from ancient Arabian folklore that was said to be able to transport seafarers to safety. The ambitions and aspirations of humanity for space exploration are also carried by the rock airplane. It even successfully completed a separation test of a Talon A vehicle back in May 2023. Number 19. Bertha Bertha is the world's largest tunnel boring machine. This gigantic digger created specifically for the complex Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Project of the Washington State Department of Transportation became a symbol of invention, perseverance, and human ingenuity. Bertha stood at an impressive 326 feet in length and 57 feet in diameter, making it slightly taller than the Statue of Liberty. The drill weighed 6,700 tons. That's as heavy as 45 American houses. Bertha was put to work in 2013, with the primary goal of excavating the two-mile-long Route 99 tunnel that connects Soto to South Lake Union. Bertha's huge, spiky drills continuously cut through the ground, providing a path for the tunnel to take shape as part of this massive undertaking. The cutter rotated at a moderate pace of around one revolution per minute, making the procedure sluggish and methodical. This cautious approach reduced the potential of creating vibrations or shock waves above ground in Seattle. Bertha's progress was aided by a set of hydraulic systems that drove the machine ahead, pushing off the old cement ring parts and making room for new ones. Bertha's tireless effort and unflinching dedication resulted in a breakthrough after four long years. Bertha triumphantly emerged into the open air in 2017 after tunneling through an unbelievable 9,270 feet and removing an astounding 1.5 million tons of earth. The Route 99 tunnel now spans beneath the city, carrying a daily traffic of around 110,000 vehicles. And while this route serves as the machine's memorial, Bertha itself did not survive the journey. The disassembly was conducted in the tunnel's northern pit, which became part of the ramp connecting to the highway. The cutter head and shield were split into smaller pieces, each weighing less than 20 tons to ease shipment. 
the steel components that comprised Bertha's core construction were not discarded. Instead, they were delivered to a nearby iron foundry to be melted down and recycled as fittings for the tunnel's interior. This recycling initiative ensured that Bertha's legacy would continue to benefit future infrastructure projects. The different mechanical and electrical components like motors, pumps, and electronics were traced back to Hitachi, the firm that built Bertha. These components were returned to Hitachi to be used for future projects. Number 18, the Big Wind. This incredible machine, resembling a sprinkler tank on steroids, specializes in combating fires that would otherwise be nearly impossible to extinguish. It can tackle highly flammable chemical spills that would burn uncontrollably. Normally, experts would leave these flames to burn out on their own, but not when they have the big wind. The Iraqi army set the oil wells in Kuwait on fire during the first Gulf War, resulting in towering infernos that casted a dark shadow over the land. Tackling such an environmental catastrophe seemed daunting, but amidst the desert sands, a Hungarian firefighting team emerged as heroes, riding a remarkable machine named Big Wind. Big Wind played a crucial role in extinguishing nine burning oil wells in Kuwait, surpassing the achievements of teams employing traditional methods involving explosives. The Big Wind was not initially designed for firefighting purposes, but it was no stranger to innovation. It was inspired by a concept pioneered by the Soviet Union years earlier. Its original mission was to decontaminate Soviet air tanks that had been exposed to chemical weapons attacks, as even trace amounts of these components could remain hazardous for years. The task was not easy, as the stubborn residue demanded sheer strength to be effectively eradicated. The Soviets had experimented with equipping Zil 131 trucks with MiG-15 jet engines and water nozzles placed above the jet exhaust. This powerful combination proved effective in combating large fires, earning recognition within the Hungarian oil industry after successfully extinguishing a fire at the Algio oil well in 1968. The most famous version of Big Wind rests upon an old T-34 tank chassis, offering enough weight to ensure stability for the machinery on top. This version used two MiG-21 jet turbines instead of the old MiG-15 ones. These powerful engines can be swiveled like a turret, and their precision is impressive considering the overwhelming force generated by the water blast. This machine is almost reminiscent of a behemoth from another era. Even reducing the engine power to just 70% of its maximum capability, Big Wind proved to be too potent for its original intended purpose. Today, this extraordinary firefighting machine roams the landscape on the chassis of a modern VT-55 recovery vehicle, sharing its platform with the T-55 tank. After years of being dormant, it was revived by the Hungarian oil company MOL Group to resume its original purpose. Number 17, the Plus Jack. The six-legged walking harvester Plus Jack was created by the Finnish business Plustec in 1999. Plustech is the advanced R&D unit of the company Timberjack. This ant-inspired harvester is designed to overcome difficult terrain while minimizing soil damage. Its steadiness and precision are outstanding, as it is controlled by an inbuilt computer and operated by a single joystick. It examines the ground underneath it with sensors in its feet and adjusts its movement accordingly. Legs provide an advantage over wheels in navigating hilly or uneven terrain allowing the feet to step over obstacles and remain stable in the process. While walking machines are currently in the early phases of research, corporations such as John Deere believe that continued refining will result in more walking machines in the future, revolutionizing numerous industries. Number 16, Liebherr LR 13000. The Liebherr 13000 is a true powerhouse among crawler cranes, holding the title as the world's most powerful conventional crawler crane. Its impressive lifting capacity has made it a sought-after machine in various industries, including petrochemical, offshore, and civil projects. With a remarkable maximum load capacity of 3,000 tons, it can effortlessly handle massive loads that other cranes can only dream of. It has a hoist height of 774 feet, which is slightly longer than the Golden Gate Bridge. Its primary use is for power plant construction and refinery projects. 
as it can hoist extreme component weights, including industrial columns weighing a staggering 1,500 tons and measuring 328 feet in length. What sets the LR-13000 apart is its ability to operate without a derrick ballast, thanks to the ingeniously developed and manufactured in-house slewing ring. This remarkable engineering feat grants the crane unmatched lifting capacity and the flexibility to tackle complex tasks with ease. Number 15. Over Asen TV-2200 The Over Asen TV-2200 is the world's largest self-propelled snow shovel. This contraption is powered by two engines that deliver a combined output of nearly 2,200 horsepower. It's used for clearing snow from large airport runways, which is no easy task. The TV2200 is a force to be reckoned with, with a phenomenal clearing capacity surpassing 12,000 tons per hour and a casting distance of 35 meters. This massive snowblower works in two phases, with a revolving auger at the front scooping up the snow. The snow is then forced into an impeller, which acts like a massive fan. The impeller on this machine can propel snow over a distance of 110 feet. This is really useful as airports don't have any shields against the elements. It can clear an incredible 12,000 tons in only one hour, ensuring that airport runways stay safe and operational during snowy weather. Number 14. Schwerer Gustav The incredible military engineering of Germany led to the creation of the Schwerer Gustav in World War II. This colossal weapon was the largest caliber rifled artillery ever utilized in combat, and its sheer size is awe-inspiring. It stood at a towering 55 feet and stretched over 154 feet in length. This behemoth weighed a staggering 1,500 tons, but despite its immense proportions, it presented a major logistical challenge. The only way to transport this weapon was by rail, the Schwerer Gustav, also known as the Heavy Gustav, was designed primarily to target French fortifications. Its massive barrel allowed it to fire artillery shells of unparalleled weight. The Schwerer Gustav could accurately decimate targets over 43,000 yards away. This weapon was plagued by numerous drawbacks, though. Operating it was a monumental task that required thousands of personnel. Around 2,500 men were needed to lay down the tracks, 250 to fire ammunition, and additional troops were assigned to safeguard the weapon from Allied aerial assaults. The crew's arduous labor was rewarded with successful firings every 30 to 45 minutes, averaging around 14 shots per day. All these downsides led to the Germans seeking alternative methods of warfare within two years of its deployment. But what happened to it in the end? Some sources claim it was destroyed by the Germans to prevent its use by enemies, while others suggest it was captured and dismantled by the Soviets. Number 13. Caterpillar 6090 FS The Caterpillar 6090 FS excavator is not your typical machine. It is the world's largest hydraulic shovel, making it a genuine giant among its rivals. This giant, designed for mining and heavy excavating tasks, is a force to be reckoned with. It tackles large tasks with ease, thanks to its outstanding lifting capacity of 103 tons and ability to transport approximately 10,000 tons of soil per hour. It's the size of a three-story house and weighs as much as five blue whales, making it 10 meters tall and weighing 1,102 tons. Number 12. Caterpillar 2009-797F the CAT 797F mining truck is a behemoth in the world of mining machinery, all thanks to its sheer size, power, and efficiency, making it perfect for mining operations. This vehicle has a payload capacity of 400 short tons, that's 800,000 pounds. The remarkable 20-cylinder, quad-turbocharged CAT C175 engine powers this beast, producing 4,000 horsepower for lightning-fast acceleration making it excellent for steady precision and power in extreme cold, soft underfoot conditions and high-altitude terrains. This truck keeps operations running smoothly. It has a physical availability rate of 90%, meaning it'll spend more time on the road working rather than in a shop being fixed. Number 11. Case IHSTX Steiger 620. The Steiger tractor line excels in row crop applications and the most powerful model in this line is the Case IHSTX Steiger 620. The Steiger 620 tractor is a workhorse engineered to handle heavy workloads and harsh conditions. 
It has a peak performance of 680 horsepower. It even broke a performance record back in 2017 for being the highest horsepower tractor ever tested and being the most fuel efficient in the process. This machine comes in multiple configurations as well. You can either get one with wheels or tracks to get that extra traction. But where does it get its performance from? Other than the 12.9 liter engine, the tractor has a strong frame, separate positive drive tracks, and efficient gearbox. The massive axles on this tractor allow it to carry well above its own weight, roughly 66,000 pounds. But how do people manage to clear up so much land for farming in the first place? Number 10, Spearhead Twiga. The Spearhead Twiga is an extraordinary piece of machinery built for the sole purpose of cleaning water reservoirs. This specialized machine handles the difficulty of eliminating grass thickets that obstruct water circulation in ponds, rivers, and irrigation canals. It efficiently chops vegetation on both sides of the canal with its 180-degree rotating crane sleeve, ensuring comprehensive cleaning in a single pass. And don't expect a bumpy ride either with its climate-controlled cabin, independent suspension, and cameras for improved visibility. The Spearhead Twiga may even be outfitted with extra tools for tree trimming, road cleaning, and even snow removal. Number 9. Belaz 75710. The Belaz 75710 holds the distinction of world's largest haul truck. This behemoth is capable of hauling 496 tons and is designed for efficiency in raw material delivery. Mainly used in Siberian coal mines, the massive size of this beast is obvious, with a length of almost 20 meters. Don't underestimate the speed and maneuverability of this machine just because it's powerful. It can go as fast as 40 miles an hour. But take a look at its huge eight-wheel layout and enormous tires. It can even operate for 23 hours straight every day. Number 8. Komatsu P and HL2350 the Komatsu P and HL2350 is the world's largest wheel loader and has even been inscribed in the Guinness Book of World Records. This gigantic machine is over two stories tall and weighs a whopping 272 tons. But the most impressive part of this vehicle is that it's designed specifically for loading massive haul trucks like the Balaz. While speed is not its strong suit, the P and HL2350 excels at handling heavy loads of raw materials, like coal and copper ore. It can effortlessly transport an incredible 80 tons in a single scoop with its huge shovel, elevating it up to 7 meters high in the process. Number 7. New Holland Methane Tractor Now a lot of the machines on this list are not exactly environmentally friendly, so let's take a look at something green for number 7. This tractor, which was first intended as a prototype but is now offered in production models, uses methane as fuel and has many advantages for both farmers and the environment. The methane tractor has a big capacity methane tank that allows it to run all day on one charge. And it refuels incredibly fast compared to conventional diesel. This tractor emits no carbon dioxide while providing the same level of power and performance of a diesel tractor making it a significant step forward in sustainable farming techniques. It combines efficiency, creativity, and sustainability thanks to the large amount of features it has, such as LED lighting for improved visibility, a cabin with 360-degree viewing cameras, and the option to install specialized cameras for monitoring particular operations. This tractor was first prototyped all the way back in 2013, but has been available for purchase on the market since 2021. Number 6. Combolift Straddle Carrier, a noteworthy device created especially for the effective transportation of huge containers in dockyards and ships, is Combolift's Straddle Carrier. The Combi SC range provides an affordable handling solution for dealing with big and heavy goods because of its remarkable maneuverability, small footprint, and high level of customization. This amazing three-wheel machine has exceptional maneuverability, allowing it to easily reach even the most tight locations. It can effortlessly go in and out of warehouses, handle difficult terrain and ramps, and work in tight spaces where larger cranes and reach stackers would struggle. And its adaptability is simply amazing. Turns out, Combolift tailors roughly 98% of their units. Clients have choices like various power sources such as diesel, LP gas, electric, as well as a remote control version. It can be customized to your heart's content. 
It includes automatic attachment capabilities, allowing it to effortlessly handle a wide range of products. The independent front and rear side shifts allow for accurate positioning and maneuvering in confined places. Its low ground pressure, even when fully laden, reduces the possibility of surface damage. The ergonomically constructed cabin creates a comfortable working environment, decreasing fatigue during lengthy shifts. When lifting goods, the cabin's 360-degree vision guarantees optimum visibility, improving safety and precision. And if that wasn't enough, it can lift up to 110 tons of weight at a max height of 42 feet. Now, it's time for today's subscriber pick. One of our subscribers sent us a photo that has left us amazed. When we think of tractors, we usually imagine those run-of-the-mill, reasonably-sized vehicles with huge wheels at the back. But this photo takes it to a whole new level. A massive tractor equipped with colossal wheels that could plow through anything. Now we have no idea what this monster is, but that's where you come in. Can you help us uncover the mysteries surrounding this mighty machine? What's its name? How did it come to be? And what kind of farm could ever need such a thing? The answers lie in your hands. Number 5. NASA Crawler Transporter Crafted by adapting mining equipment in the 1960s, this $144 million masterpiece was purpose-built to carry rockets to their launch pads. It's the largest self-powered vehicle on our planet, and it commands attention with its sheer size and capabilities. This machine weighs an astonishing 3,300 tons, equivalent to the weight of about 20 Statues of Liberty. It stands 8 meters tall, 40 meters long, and 35 meters wide, meaning you can fit three basketball courts on top of it. The transporter's design features two operator cabins situated on opposite corners, providing an ingenious solution for reversing maneuvers. Rather than backing up, the driver simply walks to the other cabin and steers in the opposite direction. However, navigating this colossal machine presents its own set of challenges, particularly when navigating turns. But you can take your time when going through those turns as speed isn't its forte, but its might is unrivaled. Moving at a leisurely 1.6 kilometers per hour when transporting an 18 million pound rocket, it showcases its power. Even unloaded, it maintains an impressive top speed of 3.2 kilometers per hour. Number 4. Kobelco SK 3500D In a world where skyscrapers rise, their eventual removal requires specialized equipment. Enter the Kobelco SK 3500D crane, the epitome of demolition power. With a towering working height of 213 feet, equivalent to a 21-story building, this machine's long arm wields a mechanical claw capable of pulverizing structures. Despite its seemingly compact appearance from the ground, the claw possesses immense strength, boasting a cutting force of 2,716 kilonewtons, which is over 610,500 red pounds. This engineering marvel holds the Guinness World Record for the tallest working height achieved by a machine. Weighing in at a substantial 327 tons, the SK3500D may not be the fastest, with a top speed of just 0.7 miles per hour, but its detachable hydraulic pins allow for efficient transportation and assembly at various demolition sites. Number three, Big Muskie. While it may not be in use today, Big Muskie's sheer size and world record still leave us in awe. This colossal dragline excavator holds the title of being the largest ever built. Weighing a staggering 12.2 million kilograms and towering 22 stories high, Big Muskie was a true titan of the mining industry. Big Muskie was one of a kind. It was the only excavator of its model ever built by Bucyrus Erie. Its scooping bucket was no ordinary tool. It was the biggest single bucket excavator ever made, thanks to it being 220 cubic yards in area, making it as large as a 12-car garage. This massive machine was specifically designed to tackle mining operations in hilly terrains. During its impressive 22-year service, Big Muskie achieved an incredible feat. It removed twice the amount of earth that was excavated during the construction of the Panama Canal. That just shows how unrivaled its digging power really is. Number 2. Falkirk Wheel this machine holds the distinction of being the world's only rotating boat lift, seamlessly lifting boats an astonishing 115 feet to connect the Forth and Clyde Canal with the Union Canal. 
It was originally designed to connect the two great cities of Glasgow and Edinburgh. This modern wonder now rests atop a hill, while the Forth and Clyde Canal lies below. The Falkirk Wheel stands as a testament to state-of-the-art engineering, celebrated for its iconic status and recognition of Scotland's engineering prowess. It replaces the old lock gates that were demolished long ago and replaced by housing developments. Prior to the Falkirk Wheel's construction, traveling between the two canals was a difficult and monotonous task. Boats had to rely on a series of locks, which raise or lower water levels within chambers. This was a very intricate and time-consuming process. These locks broke down very frequently and required constant maintenance. The Falkirk Wheel was part of the Millennium Link project. This was an 84 million pound project that was unveiled by Scotland in 1998. The plan was to restore coast-to-coast -coast navigation of the canals after a four-decade break, and the Falkirk Wheel was the heart of the operation. The Falkirk Wheel reigns as the project's crowning jewel. Its remarkable journey was even featured on the popular TV series Great Canal Journeys, starring Timothy West and Prunella Scales. But how does it work? Despite its complex looks, the Falkirk Wheel is surprisingly simple. One end of the wheel is filled with water, while a boat enters the other end. With a gentle yet forceful push, the wheel sets the lift in motion, utilizing inertia to gracefully transport the boat to the other canal. What sets this design apart is its astonishingly low energy consumption. Traditional boat lifts require motorized lifts to carry heavy boats throughout the entire journey. To elevate 500 tons of water 79 feet into the air, a conventional boat lift would require a staggering 32 kilowatt hours of energy. That's as much as an entire day's worth of electricity used by an average American household. Compare that to the Falkirk wheel, which does the same thing but only uses 1.5 kilowatt hours of energy. That's less than a 20th of what a conventional boat lift would require. If you want to go on a boat trip, the entire Falkirk wheel experience spans approximately 60 minutes if you include a round trip and the exciting ascent and descent through the wheel. Number 1. Bagger 293 The Bagger 293 is a true titan among land-based vehicles. It proudly holds the title of the largest in the world according to the Guinness Book of World Records. This colossal machine stands 315 feet tall. It stretches 740 feet in length, and it weighs 31 million pounds. This giant bucket wheel excavator was born in Germany in 1995. It takes a crew of five skilled operators to handle this beast. It wields the power to move an astonishing 8.5 million cubic feet of earth each day. To put this incredible capability into perspective, it's like digging a hole as long as a football field and over 80 feet deep within a mere 24 hours. Such is the relentless productivity of the bagger. Transporting this mammoth was no trivial feat, taking over three weeks to cover a mere 80 miles at the unhurried pace of one kilometer per hour, and every piece of unfortunate road that the bagger drove on had to be rebuilt. The bagger's excavation prowess relies on a massive rotating wheel, extending 70 feet, attached to a long arm. This colossal wheel carries an array of buckets that diligently scoop up earth as it rotates, efficiently depositing it onto a conveyor belt. The Earth then embarks on a journey to designated removal vehicles, which transport it to the appropriate dumping site. Among its brethren, the Bagger is one of a select few built for the purpose of excavation. Given their immense size, these behemoths find their place solely in the largest quarries worldwide. Transporting them is a formidable challenge, with costs that reflect their extraordinary proportions. While the miles per gallon figures for these gargantuan machines remain unknown, they can use up to 20,000 kilowatts of power. Tell us, which was your favorite machine? And did we miss any you would like us to include next time? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.